Welcome to the Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Associate Certification course and also to Management 1400 Introduction to Data Analytics Excel Assignments. These assignments are designed uh, to help with the Data Analytics 1400 course and to prepare you for your Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Association Certification Exam. Wow, that was a lot to say. So one of the things that we will do here is we are recording this and showing you how to do things in Excel using a PC, not a Mac. There are some differences on a PC versus a Mac, but as Microsoft requires you to use a PC for your certification, we will show you how to do everything on a PC. There are some nuances between the PC version of Microsoft and Mac versions. Uh, but because you're required to take the certification exam on a PC, we will just be showing you how to use things on a PC. And just to be familiarized with some of the terminology when we talk about it, this very top row up here where you see File, Home, Insert, Page Layout, that is known as your tabs at the top. So when we say go to the home tab or the page layout tab or the data tab, that would be up here at the top. And those tabs also can change depending upon what data or things you're working with in uh, on the sheet. Underneath the tab, this is known as your ribbon across the bottom here. And you notice on the home tab that Inside your ribbon, you are broken out in groups. You see the clipboard group, the font group, the alignment group, the number group. And inside these groups, um, here you also have these little pop-ups down here at the bottom. I can click on this pop-up in font. It will add, add additional font settings. You can see that a pop-up came up here and you can do additional things here. Real quick difference between a Mac and a PC is on a PC, these groups are titled and you have pop-ups here. A Mac does not have those. And you notice not every single group has a pop-up or a pop-out available. So an insert, you can see that charts do, page layout, page setup. We will deal a lot with this at the very beginning on learning how to use Excel and prepping for your Microsoft Excel Associate Certification Exam. Okay, so Please understand when we talk about this. Now, in Excel and on most other spreadsheets, you have columns and rows. Your columns uh, are your letters, A, B, C, D, E, and F, and it continues. So if we continue to go past, we sound to have A, 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 B, A, C, and on so forth. And then your rows are numbers. The intersection between a column and a row such as B2 is known as your cell. And also on your cell, you'll notice up here is you have this name box right here above the A. And that says that we are in B2. And to the right of the name box is we have this formula bar. And sometimes called a function bar by some, but the formula bar. So if we were to insert any type of data, text, or anything there, we see it also up here in the formula bar. You can also manipulate data here uh, on your formula bar and it will appear in your cell. Okay. So just understand that we may say go to B2 or A2, one of your first assignments on assignment number one and uh, training number one to prep you for your exam is we will tell you to go to and put your cursor in A2 and then you will come and do something up here in the tab and on the ribbon, and it will affect things that happen in A2 as an example. So all these cells make up a sheet. As you can see here down at the bottom, this is called sheet one. Okay, And you can have different sheets in Excel. These are just different sheets. So this is sheet one. You could change the name of the sheets. You can change the color. You can change the order. But when we say go to a sheet and we name that sheet down there at the bottom is the sheet tab and you can go down there and choose which sheet is being worked on. 
all these sheets together are what's called a workbook. So when you download a file and something like that is downloading a workbook and workbooks has multiple sheets. And then you can also um, change the default properties of an entire workbook besides a sheet. So you can manipulate a cell, you can manipulate a column, you can manipulate a row, you can manipulate a sheet, you can manipulate a workbook. And we will go through all of those, but this is just a very short introduction. So when we talk about the tabs at the top, you know what we're talking about when I would go say, go to the data tab. Inside the data tab, I may say, go to the sort and filter area or text to columns, or like on the page layout, we may say, go to the pop-up under page setup. So this would be the pop out under page setup and you will be doing this where you'll be working with margins, headers, footers and the sheet really soon. OK, and on there. And then if we say, you know, go to the name box, it's here underneath this A2 and you can choose things that will jump to a table. As an example, we can choose that and it goes to our data there. This is your formula bar. And one of the other key differences between a Mac and a PC is a lot of times on a PC, we'll ask you to go to the file button, go click on the file button. This is where you can save it, save as. You have other info right here that you can deal with, uh, and we will do that. Notice on a Mac, uh, that file button does not exist, at least not there. And so because you have to, again, take your certification exam on a PC, we will only be showing you how to do things on a PC. And I may mention, well, this is how you do it on a Mac. But again, you need to take your certification exam through CertiPort on a PC. Thank you very much and good luck with the course.